Hello and welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Ashley McGregory and I want to share today's tech tip with you for virtual learning. We're going to focus today on enabling dictation for those learners who struggle with typing. Those may be our younger learners or even students that may have accommodations. Uh, now, this tip will be focusing not only on dictation, but mainly for our Apple users. So this is a quick hack on how to access enabling dictation with our Apple devices. So once my Apple users have gotten to their device, you will go to System Preferences and choose Keyboard. Once you've chosen Keyboard, you'll go all the way to the right to choose Dictation. There, once Dictation is chosen, you would make sure that Dictation is on and use Enhanced Dictation. Language is of your choice. Also, shortcut is whatever you prefer. I've chosen to use the function key, which my student will hit it twice, and dictation will be enabled. If this is not one that you would use because you've used it on another um, shortcut, you can choose whatever you like. I just strongly recommend that whatever you choose, or even if you customize one, that you remember what you chose so that students can access this easily. If you're wondering where the function key is on your Apple device, on your MacBook Pro and your MacBook Air, you will see a similar keyboard to the bottom here. It'll be at your bottom left, and it's the same for your iMac desktop is in the bottom left as well. The FN is the function notation. If this is your first time using it, you'll be prompted with this notification. Just make sure that you clicked, you've chosen Use Enhanced Dictation in OK. And it only takes about a minute to download to your device. Once it's downloaded, you won't have to do it again. All right, so we're going to try it out. Now, once I choose my shortcut, which is the function notation twice, it's actually going to change my change my voice. So I'm because it's accessing the internal microphone to my laptop. So once I choose that, my voice will change. You will also notice that I will not begin speaking until the microphone comes on because it will not pick up my voice until the microphone is enabled. This will be a great week. Everything that I have spoken into my computer came onto the screen without typing. You may have also noticed that there is not any punctuation here on the screen. This creates an academic conversation with students on the correct way to use punctuation. Another way to get the punctuation that you desire is by simply speaking into the screen the punctuation that you want, and it will add it onto it. Now, this is through Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you how to also enable dictation using Google Docs. When using Google Docs, there are two ways that you can access this. You can do it by simply going to Tools and going down to Voice Typing, or you can simply choose Command-Shift-S. Thank you for all of your hard work period. As you can notice, once I finish speaking, I simply click the red microphone. As with the other, I just click the done under the microphone on the Microsoft Word document. So the red microphone is on the Google Doc. Um, I did add punctuation here. At the end of my statement, statement, I said period. And as you notice, there is a period here at the end. You also see that there are lines here under some of my words. This puts in the question, do I have a grammatical error? And it creates that academic conversation there. I hope that today's tip has been beneficial for my Apple users. Bailey Education Group is excited about the work you all are doing, and we are here to help. Thank you for joining us for Tech Tip Tuesday. Have a great week.